Hi everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I'm going to be talking about a strange little project that I've been working on over the last couple of weeks now, I guess it is, um, and that is a first-person mod for Lies of P. Lies of P is an upcoming Souls-like, Bloodborne type, um, based in France, in the Belle Epoque, and I'm really excited for it, so I decided to throw my hand into the modding ring and see if I could make an FPS mod for it. Before even getting out of the intro, I do want to say that first up, it's highly experimental. It is still going to need a lot of polish, but I'm holding a lot of that polish back until the full game releases. I want to see the full game and see how the code works in the full game and see if it affects the mod before developing a ton of perfection methods while we're just working with the demo. Uh, the second thing is, because this game's a Souls-like, I am extremely doubtful that people are going to be able to play the game like a normal game via the first person mod uh, it does make it a lot more difficult because you can't see most things uh, dodging is very hard um, and i also don't know if blocking is physically possible so keep those things in mind when you're going into this something that i just thought was a really cool way to see lies of p in an entirely different way so i want to start off with uh, some of the basics of how this thing works um, this is very tech savvy, but more so just how it works. So the game, what it does is it takes the player camera and it relocates it to the player's eyes. Uh, then it puts an offset on those eyes, putting you a little bit to the back. So that way, even when P is sprinting, if you are facing the forward direction, then P won't appear on the screen and it will emulate a very realistic first person approach. And that was kind of the goal. Um, that is how the code works. It has a bunch of stuff going on in the background to reduce motion sickness and other types of things. It has a lot of protections built in for motion sickness. That was really the main thing going into this build that I wanted to have done before publishing the mod. Uh, I wanted to make sure nobody was throwing up over my work. So uh, let's get into some of the bugs that I know exist to be very open about the projects I do. I, I try to stay as open as I can, so I'm going to address these bugs that I know exist that I'm currently waiting for the full release to aid knowledge and fully fix. So first is an issue regarding left rotation. The motion sickness stuff that I mentioned earlier has a built-in constraint that isn't the most perfect system, um, but basically if you think about P as a grandfather clock, then there is a point on that clock. It depends on the scene, depends on the situation, but there's going to be a point on that clock that's somewhere to P's left um, that if you rotate past, will instead rotate you completely clockwise to that point. Uh, this is because there are catches to make sure that your variation and rotation isn't too much, and at that point, variation goes from whatever value it was at to zero. This will be easy to fix when the full game comes out. It's just something to be aware of if you play with the mod at the moment. Uh, the next known issue is regarding the location of the hammer. As I said earlier, it's located a little bit offset, so that way even when P is sprinting, you can't see him. But if you even notice the background footage, you'll see that there are times where you can see spit pre. So it, did I lie? Well, no. Um, the thing is right now, the variation of the camera is based off of only when v, uh, P is facing forward in a scene. If P is facing diagonal, left, right, or backwards, then the variances of the camera may be different. This is only while walking, by the way. If you stop walking, the camera will immediately catch up to where it should be. To fix this in the future, I intend on building a matrix that can read what direction you're facing, and it would simply change the variance based off of that, but that hasn't currently been implemented, so that is why you see P in certain camera angles even in this footage. Um, the other bugs that I've I noticed while designing mostly seem to be fixed. A lot of them were motion sickness related, but if you notice any bugs while playing with this or even just watching the footage, be sure to point them out to me. I was really happy about this project, and I'm hopeful that at least some of y'all are excited for this project and for this game. Um, when the game fully releases, I will be updating the mod, and hopefully all of you will play some Lies of P. It looks like an amazing title. And uh, yeah, this has been Christopher Beast. I'm just going to play some footage of the, the build now. Hope you enjoy.